Today I have a special situation which helps me to show you the plant Amorphophallus titanum, titanum or whatever in, in all his uh, features except for the flower. So I start with this one which has sprouting leaves light green color plentiful coming out of the stem and I did not see it yet I did not make any video about it in this stage of its development and I will spend plenty of time to explain you all around this very interesting plant from the top till the root so let's start with the leaves you see the color of the leaves when it is in this stage of growth is uh, light green like a salad the stem itself has these white dots which I thought first uh, would be some kind of disease or what but it's not I looked on old illustrations, they have that naturally, you don't know the reason. This plant has been displaced because there were some works going on and we have luckily the possibility to replant it somewhere else. And here I can show you that this one has been unearthed and it was in the development stage after it had grown a flower and was already producing seeds. Now you see the, the orange color seeds are the ones which are ripe and the top of this stem you can see there brown dots. This is where the seeds fell off already ripe. Maybe some animals have been also eating some of them and ripping them off but usually they fell off they fall off when they are ripe enough and here looks like most of them are very close to full ripeness so that they can actually fall down here we have another stem with uh, seeds in a different kind of stage of development you have these very small ones which seem to be underdeveloped and ripening and then you have down here the ones which are yet to be ripened because they are green color and smaller now this particular stem has been unfortunately damaged because somebody pulled on it ignoring apparently that there is a, supposed to be a potato at the bottom which will not go off the ground just by pulling you have to unearth it by digging around I come back to that potato a little bit later. Now you see the cut, the cut uh, stem of this uh, plant has the consistency of some kind of vegetable only. There's no wood. It's elastic and it will break if you bend it too much. I'm making a close up now. I put some light okay we can see all the little tubes in there which are necessary to feed the top of the plant when the plant stays and when the cut part of the plant stays in the at the air contact it will become like this brown and you can see the different fibers in there more easily as I said unfortunately somebody ripped it off probably the seeds will not finish to ripe completely the ones which are down there missing nutrition but I may just put it in the water and make a test to see if they get still succeed to ripen here's the other one which was not damaged and here you can see that tubercle potato style of root 
the powerhouse of the plant with some very interesting phenomenon here to observe. You can see that the small new roots are growing on top of the what I call potato. I'll check without light now. Okay, there's no additional light now. We have natural colors. Now when you see that tubercle in the ground, it's not going to be clean and white like this. This is because I was actually using a toothbrush and water to make this structure appear more visible on my video. Um, to make this presentation really good, I will turn the thing and you can see that it will be actually be covered in earth and this color will be more the color which you will find on the plant in the nature without having been washed. Now if I brush it, if I brush it, no, now it's dirty. You need water then it's going to look very white. So good to know that thing looks white uh, when it is uh, taken out of the ground and washed. Now some local people told me we are eating this, we are eating this, very good. Okay, I think I will not eat this one. I'm much more interested to see that flower growing. But it's something noteworthy that it's actually edible according to the local people. Uh, which gives a chance to this flower to at least be somehow useful for them because they all complain about the bad smell. And they are uprooting these plants because of the bad smell of the flower, which I did not yet get the chance to make a video about. Now let's go back to this beautiful Amorphophallus titan plant growing these very nice light green colored leaves and branches because this one is in a stage of growth which we will have to observe further to see is it going to grow a flower maybe or is it just going to stay like this for years till the flower will finally show up that is a mystery now to me some botanists may comment in the comment section what are our chances now i may, must make sure that this plant is going to grow and I have to put it back in the ground. But before we do that, we check a little bit the roots. So you see, compared to this one, which has no roots apparent, and uh, just these small micro white roots popping out there, like these micro roots, white ones coming out again. This one has plenty of roots still. And the potato seems to be relatively small. Here is something like a, a leaf which has been doing its job and it's going to rot away. Here I hold it up like this. I just drop it now. The nature will uh, natural process will be that it will dissolve to to uh, organic fertilizer. So here we have one other part which will just rot away. Now in the vegetation of the natural soil there are leaves of other plants which have been covering this plant. So the roots are actually not very deep in the ground here because th these, these leaves were but together with the plant and there was no soil. So we see here the, the, the roots of the Amorphophallus plant. Just a little bit damaged there because the plant has been ripped out of the ground. Uh, okay, before coming back to that potato, I will still look on the stem, make a close-up here on this very interesting structure of this, uh, as I said, rather soft plant. If I touch it, 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 it is, 
it is giving some resistance but you can bend it you can bend it if you force too much it will break interestingly these dots are giving the idea of the camouflage no idea what are the reasons behind this dotted beautiful design but uh, I will put the light now and here we see the stem now I will pull the potato out of the ground and I'll try to not damage the upper part carefully carefully and here we see that potato now so this one we will not wash because to compare it we have just the same thing here from the other plant I just have a look there's also that little funny growing mini round shaped ball on the bottom of the potato what I call potato and and the same thing we have here I remove the light see more natural colors we can see that most of these roots are actually now on this plant growing on the top in very shallow shallow growing uh, roots not deep the entire stability of this plant seems to be just done by very few roots all around and that weight of this potato style of root so here's the other one and maybe this will be enough today about this funny plant I missed I may still try to show uh, the consistency of this uh, stem to 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 because since we have it anyhow cut I may just try to show you look you see when I push it already enters the knife already enters ah. Ah, so easy it's it's like a vegetable like a salad Hold on, here we go oh, that was not necessary to cut a nice plant but it was already broken off okay so I apologize that at least it will have been useful to show that part so I will replant this thing now and we're gonna continue to observe what will come out of it in the next weeks. <laughs>